Although many Scottish nobles accepted Edward I's demands, others still refused. Those who would not support Edward's rule were sent to prison. One such family were the Murrays. The Murrays were a powerful and influential family who owned land and castles in the northeast of Scotland. After the Battle of Dunbar, Sir Andrew and his son were captured. Sir Andrew was taken to the Tower of London, but the younger Andrew de Murray was considered less important. Andrew de Murray was instead placed in Chester Castle. He escaped from Chester in the winter of 1296 to 1297. William Wallace's rebellious activity is first mentioned in the earlier half of 1297. In May, he killed the hated Sheriff of Lanark and began a series of raids across the lowlands and borders. Legend tells that Wallace killed the Sheriff in revenge for the murder of his wife, but no actual record of her or Wallace being married exists. Now back in the north of Scotland, Andrew de Murray took control of his father's lands and supporters. He continued to revolt, still refusing any calls to submit to Edward's rule. Eventually, Wallace and Murray would meet and join forces. No date was recorded for this meeting, but it was probably late summer 1297. Around the same time, Edward I instructed the English nobleman John de Warren to lead an army into Scotland and crush the rebel threat. Edward remained in London. Neither Wallace nor Murray wished to seize the Scottish crown. They knew that the rightful King of Scots had been forced from his throne and continued to fight in the name of King John Balliol. The Scottish rebels now controlled much of the north of Scotland and arrived at Stirling by early September. At this time, Stirling provided the only safe crossing point from south to north. It was known as the Gateway to the Highlands. Wallace and Murray knew the English army would need to cross the River Forth at Stirling in order to take back the north. The trap was set and they waited. So what do you think happened next? Listen next week to find out. But first, let's find out what you remember about the rebellion of Wallace and Murray.